going on everybody? Here to give you another tutorial for the Xbox 360 console on the Live On DVD disk drive. Um, today we're going to be replacing the eject motor as well as the eject belt. Uh, for this one you will need a soldering iron. Um, these are attached via uh, little cables that are soldered to the PCB board instead of a ribbon, so uh, you will need that in order to do this. Uh, you also need some solder. Um, I'm also, I'm also going to be using post-it notes. Uh, it's a nice little trick to help you keep track of which wires go where. And then a pen to write on those post-it notes. Um, so let's get started here. Uh, we're also going to need some uh, little electronic slash jewelry Phillips head screwdrivers. Alright, so first we're going to flip this over. Just like this. And we're going to start taking out these four screws that are on the bottom. Just make sure to keep track of them so you don't lose any of them, of course. Alright, now we're going to pop the shell pieces off here. Just like that. Alright, now, uh, with this, uh, there's a, there's several different wires here, but the only ones that are going to be messed with are the black and red ones, which are the two here on this end. Uh, so this is where the um, post notes will come in handy. So what we're going to do with the post notes is we're going to uh, get two little strips, and we're going to write um, red and black on... on uh, red on one and black on the other. So let me do that real quick. Red. We're going to just put that right here per se, I guess. If I could uh, keep the part that's sticky anyways. Let me try this again. Alright. So we're going to put the black one here on this end because the black one is on the outside. And the one that's labeled red we'll put right next to it. That way we just know that the black one goes on the outside and the red one goes on the inside. That way we don't have to redo everything if we got it backwards. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get some solder on the soldering iron. And we're going to uh, remove two of these. Go ahead and kind of pull these out just a little bit. Alright, so we're going to remove the black one. Just get some solder on there and it'll pop right off. Do the same thing with the red one. They should come right off pretty easily. Alright, now we're going to take these wires and kind of get them out of all this stuff. Just like that. Don't need to really worry about getting the other ones out of there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to eject the uh, tray here. So what you got to do is you got to take it and push that in and pull that out. Okay, so what we'll do now is we're going to take this uh, belt off. You just got to kind of peel it off of there. Um, and then there's two little screws that hold the motor in. And so we're going to go ahead and take those out as well. Set those aside, and now we've got that taken out, just like this. So what we'll do now is we'll get our replacement here, and we are going to get it wired up. What you got to do is just kind of stick it in there. You might want to run the black and red cords underneath your yellow cables here. kind of like this and then it'll kind of lock in so you can kind of guess where that's supposed to go and now let's start to feed these wires um, back and around here to kind of get them set back in place there's some little notches you'll notice where they kind of can slip into 
like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to hold this motor in place and flip it back over. And that way we can um, start getting these little screws back in here. Little itty bitty screws at that. It's going to be kind of difficult to get them set in place, I'll admit that. Luckily I have magnetic, little magnetic screwdrivers though. I hear my son getting fussy in there. Not having a good day today apparently. Alright, now we're going to get the uh, ribbon. And we're going to get that and pop that back in there. Just make sure you don't accidentally put it underneath the, the uh, little gears here. And um, that way uh, if it's underneath the gears it won't really turn with it. So um, yeah, we'll uh, just have it kind of in there and just kind of play with it to make sure you've got it right in there. Alright, now we're going to... Uh, flip this back over. I just knocked my post-it mess off. Good job. But luckily I just, I've done this enough, I remember. Black is on the outside and red is on the inside. So what we'll do now is we'll get some, uh, might even be enough solder on there. We'll try it. We'll, uh, first we'll solder that black one on there. Next, we're going to get this red one and pop that one in there and solder it too. There was enough solder already on there, so I didn't have to add any. Alright. And that is ready. Kind of get these wires fed back through here so they won't be in the way or pop out and get ripped out. And that's all that. Um, get these post nuts out of the way. All we really got to do now is put the uh, case back on. There's nothing much to that. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and make sure to like the video. And uh, i got a lot of repair tutorials and a lot of case modding tutorials as well. So um, pretty cool stuff and you guys should enjoy most of that. So anyways guys, until next time.